So I'm about ready to do a little table styling at this point. And when I look, when I preview my table, probably the first thing that I want to start happening is um, I'm going to add the actual grids. Like, you know, when I think of an Excel, when I think of a table or like an Excel spreadsheet, I see those little grid marks, the, the lines up and down. And those are just borders, right? So basically what I'm kind of seeing in Dreamweaver here, I want displayed. So I'm going to start by, I'm going to just select my table. I like to do this through Dreamweaver, but um, I would know how to do it manually through my, to my CSS anyway, just using Dreamweaver as a shortcut tool, to definitely not as a substitute for my knowledge. And here we go. Here's my CSS declaration. Container, center, table. Eh, a little overly specific for me. I just don't like to see that much stuff in there, so I'll just probably do the less specific and center, uh, table is fine because I'm going to target any table that's always in that center div. And I want to make sure that when I select it, I'm going to select main.css. I'll click OK. And here we go. We got border. So let's see. Let's add a border value. I'll, I'll add a solid border. I'll make it thin. That's a pretty relative um, value over there. And then let me give it a light gray border. I'll hit apply. And now let's see what this looks like. Okay, well, it kind of just put it around the table uh, as opposed to all the, the cells like I want to. Now, the other thing I should say before I get ahead of myself, I need to, since I'm starting to do some styling over here, I want to make sure that I have all my, my browsers open and I'm previewing them all. So right now, here's Internet Explorer 7. I'm looking through, yes, I'm on a Mac, but I'm using Internet Explorer 7 through, through VMware. And let's see what this looks like through Safari. Uh, okay, there it is through Safari. And now through Firefox. Okay, all consistent. Now, what's the problem? How come I don't have my, how come I don't have the board around everything? Well, if we look at what I set up, I only set it up for the table. If I want a border for each table cell, then I'm going to have to define that. So I'm going to add to this CSS. Um, I'm going to group it together since it's going to be the same value anyway. I'll add a comma and then I'll put there table uh, center and then table data to have that as well. So once I put give the table data the value, okay, kind of what I wanted because now my table headers don't have that border. No problem, pretty easy to fix because all I do is kind of do the same thing I did here, except instead of it being a TD, it's going to be TH for table header. I'll save it. Okay, so I applied that border value to three different um, three different elements over here: the table, the the table data, and the table header, and that's going to cover everything. So that so that gets it around and gets each Sing individual one here as well. Now, there's a couple of unique table uh, table CSS styling elements you could use. Well, I know one of them is like border spacing, which actually, if I zoom in, would affect the space between these borders. But honestly, I don't want more space between those, and I certainly don't want to use like a negative space. I just want one. I mean, I, I don't want each little thing to have this kind of border here. So. The way that I could do that is by using the border collapse um, attribute. And when I go to my table cell, it's actually, I'm not, honestly, I don't even know if it's in Dreamweaver, but because I, I always write it myself. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add the property border. See, when I look at all the ones they have, it's interesting because when I look at all the border, uh, border dash things they have. I'm looking for border collapse, but they don't have it. But I say why it's interesting is that once I put dash collapse, it actually has the different values that go in there, separate or collapse. And I'm going to select separate. So just so we're clear what I'm using over here, I'm using border dash collapse as the as the actual attribute, and then its value is collapse. So when I save this, you see, now it's just one a single, you see, it's just a single line. Um, so this is what it was without border collapse. There's actually a fat border to it. Then once I refresh this, 
that's what border collapse does and I like that effect much better <laughs>